Early in the morning of April 14th, the National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated that thunderstorms producing heavy rainfall and damaging winds in excess of 60 miles per hour were headed toward Liberty, Kentucky. By 9 a.m. that day, runoff from the heavy rain flooded low-lying areas in Liberty, and the wind had downed power lines, causing outages throughout the city. By 5 p.m., rivers and creeks were over their banks, causing extensive flooding. The strong winds continued to knock down trees and power lines, resulting in substantial power outages throughout Liberty and Casey County. The Region 14 HPP coordinator received notification that Casey County would very likely need ESF-8 support due to the widespread power outages and flooding. As such, the coordinator contacted the coalition members who immediately began to mobilize and set up command in anticipation of their response. The goals of the Region 14 MASH exercise were very inclusive. Um, we attempted to engage all of our community partners, all of our regional coalition partners, hospital administrators and staff into this exercise um, to gain new membership to our coalition. And also, um, as we're doing that, we wanted to inventory all of our assets, uh, mobilize and operationalize all of our assets, test our plans, and kind of see where the gaps are within our region. Um, what resources we may need to purchase in the future, um, what things need to be maintained differently or um, inventoried, um, just trying to, to accomplish as much as we can in this short time span of our exercise. The planning committee for the MASH exercise was made up of different partners throughout our region. We had EMS representation, hospital representation, health department, um, emergency management, lots of different partners had an input and a say in how the exercise play unfolded. We wanted to meet all of our federal grant requirements with this one exercise and in the planning process we took that into consideration to make sure that the goals and objectives we set forth um, would actually count for this uh, exercise. Exercise play began that morning with a briefing of all the exercise players. Um, everyone came together in a room and the base scenario was given to them. And then we, uh, throughout the day, inserted injects, things that would drive exercise play. As certain things were accomplished, we would give them another inject or another scenario to kind of get them thinking further along uh, the lines of this scenario. This is a full decon uh, tent. We will also need at least two people to suit up. It's been trained to suit up in pappers.
Region 14 has set up two Zoom row tents to provide patient care off-site at an alternate care site uh, for a hospital in our region that has evacuated. Um, we have eight patient beds, eight patient care areas in each tent, and um, nursing supplies are stocked and nursing staff is on standby. Uh, we have a computer set up to do credentialing for nurses that show up with the patients. Portable water supply storage reporting that Casey County EM requested Region 14 asset water to be deployed at Casey County Fire Department. EM determines the method of distribution. So we're just now getting ready to start that up. Let's get a team ready. It's located in the back side of the emergency. That's the fire department for Casey County now. We have moved the portable water to that building at Far Side. This is our first water system for Region 14. We have a large unit that can uh, purify about 200 gallons, 200 plus gallons of water uh, per hour. And uh, you can see the big container behind me here that uh, holds the water and then it's uh, taken out and filtered and pumped out through a trough that can be dispensed. And we have bags that the water that can then be put into gallon sized bags that uh, community members can take home with them. Um, we also have smaller units that can do around 60 gallons of water purification an hour and those are ideal for facilities to run um, coffee pots and ice machines and take care of patient needs off of. Um, the larger units are more of like a community resource that would be used for a, a whole community.
Okay, we have patients arriving for our alternate care site. Um, there are 12 patients that have arrived via AMBU bus um, and they are being triaged now and sent to their appropriate tents. Uh, this tent, the, the tent on my right, is designated as isolation only. We have a tent designated as ambulatory care and a tent designated as critical care. The MASH exercise really helps build our hospital up as far as what we would do in case of an emergency. Uh, with us being a critical access hospital with 25 beds in a rural part of the state of Kentucky, uh, being a part of the exercises and doing those helps us expand on what we're able to do internally and externally. It, it creates uh, facility confidence in every facility in a region. There's 10, 10 counties involved. Instead of us feeling like we're having to do everything on ourselves, by ourselves, we're part of a group that gives us confidence to do what we need to do as a group with the assets involved.